Hello Dust fans, welcome to my basement. Today we are going to be unboxing three Heavy Recon Grenadiers from um, Dust Tactics. Um, these are of the German faction. So Dust actually is a game or it's a tabletop that I actually play with my friends. It's, uh, it's based on uh, World War II, but it's alternate history. So we have tanks, but we also have mechs. So we have walkers. So um, these, these are actually the part of my army. So I, I actually ordered this like four months ago, and it just arrived. And um, I'm of the German faction. So Dust actually started with only two factions, Americans and Germans. Um, after a year or two, um, the Russians came out, and I think next year we are going to be seeing the Japanese. Um, so the figs are actually manufa or manufactured by um, Dust Studios, and the creator of the game is Paolo Parente. And um, so basically, these are old boxes, or these are old stocks, which is why I actually got them cheap, and I had to wait like four months for them um, from the U.S. So. These were actually distributed by Fantasy Flight Games when they still had the license for Dust Tactics. Now, um, the license is actually with Battlefront Games. Um, I'm not going to go into detail with all the issues that we've been having um, between D Dust Studios and Battlefront. So, uh, but, like I said, this, these are old stocks. These are old boxes. So, these still say Fantasy Flight Games. Which is, for me, you know, old socks are better because I got it cheap, even though I had to wait long. Plus, um, you know, the, uh, I really, um, the fact that nowadays the, the new stocks or the, the new Battlefront, um, what do you call this, packaging, actually does not include some of the, let's say, for example, for the walkers. Um, you buy, like, one walker, you can actually make three with, like, different hands or different guns. Now, nowadays, you just, you just buy one walker, you only get one walker. So, you know, that's just that's just the downside. But like I said, these are old socks, so don't expect much. But these are infantry. So, you know, these are heavy infantry, um, S3 or um, Armor 3 infantry. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what we got. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's see what we have here. So here's the card. Um, so they have two weapon lines, MG44 and Combat Knife. For MG44, they can shoot Armor 1, 2, and 3 infantry. Armor 1 and 2 for tanks, and Armor 1 and 2 for planes. And for the Combat Knife, of course, they can hit all infantry, 1 to 4. And of course, you cannot stab tanks, and you cannot stab planes. Um, nor can they jump with the heavy armor that they have. Although they have damage resistance with that heavy armor, soft cover they can roll a crosshair to get saved. Or for hard cover, they can actually roll a blank for a save. Now, these are old cards. And, um, of course, um, the stats have uh, drastically changed. This is 26 points. I think now, I think they're at 11, 11 points. I'm not entirely sure. So, um, you know, uh, just, just check out the link down below. Um, I'll give you, I'll place a link for the studios on this. That way you guys can, uh, can take a look at, you know, um, if you're, if you guys will be interested in playing the tabletop. So this is a uh, new addition to my army. I'll probably do another video of the, uh, my, my German army, uh, next time. But, uh, yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with what I got, even though we had to wait four months for it. Hi everyone. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And if you want to join us with the German faction and quest to crush the opposition, I'll leave the Dust Studios link on the, on the details below so that you can find out. So again, I'll see you next time.